Yo, what's poppin'? So we are here with the East kickoff class round one previews now. Uh, moving on from NA, we have the first seed, Hangzhou Spark, who selected the fourth seed, Philly Fusion, over the Seoul Dynasty. Um, we'll see if that pans out. They just beat them that same day, so probably they probably know what they're doing. But uh, yeah, Spark, first seed, five and one with a plus eight map differential. Philly, fourth seed, three and three with a plus two map differential. Uh, but don't let that three and three dissuade you from thinking that Philly's a good team. Uh, they're definitely good, and they definitely have some high highs that we've seen in the first week. The second week, not so good for them, but we'll get into that later. So how does Spark get here? Well, they beat Seoul 3-1, and they lose the Dragons 3-2. And then they beat the Valiant 3-2. They beat Char uh, Chengdu Hunters 3-1. They beat the Charge 3-0, and they go to five maps against the Philly Fusion and beat them 3-2. So, um, a lot of 3-2s. Uh, only losing to Shanghai is never a bad thing. They, they, were narrow, they narrowly uh, lost to. Very close match. Same can be said against Philly. Um, and yeah, there's only two weeks to go off of, so not a whole lot of variance there based on their play. But, uh... Yeah, pretty, very solid from the Spark. Uh, meanwhile, Philly, they start off with a bang and beat the Shanghai Dragons 3-0. Then they 3-0 the charge, and that's the end of week one for them. But then week two, they get 3-0'd by the Seoul Dynasty. They lose to Chengdu 3-1. They beat Valiant 3-1, and they lose to Spark 3-2. So, definitely a worse week for them. And we had more expectations after you beat the Shanghai Dragons, right? So... Not great, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if you want to chalk this up to just they had a bad week or whatever, but I don't know. They just were not as dominant here and at times didn't look great, but they did look very good against the Spark. So maybe it's a matter of they're playing down to competition or something. It doesn't really make sense, but uh, I don't know. A very, a very turbulent uh, two weeks for the Philly Fusion. Going back over the Spark, they have the largest roster to make it into the kickoff clash. Uh, Lige, Alpha Yi, Super Rich, Bernard, Gu Shui, Irony, Architect, Shy, and Pineapple. Uh, the only people who are really getting playtime is Gu Shui when they want to play the Monkey Comp, Bernard when they want to play the Zarya Comp, uh, Alpha Yi's in pretty much full time, Shy's in full time. Yeah, so Pineapple Architect, haven't seen anything, and Super Rich and Irony are their only two supports. They're in full-time. So Lige, Lige, or whatever, Architect and Pineapple staying on the bench, which is no surprise because Alpha Yi has been an absolute force. Uh, they're probably the best team at the Zarya composition in APAC. They are playing it very well. Uh, they they have a, they really do a good job of pressuring the enemy's area. We saw it a lot in the Soul Dynasty match, for example, right off the rip. We saw Alpha Yi pretty much into onto the Zarya whenever they had a bubble. Um, and Alpha Yi just really has a great understanding of how to play the Reaper, and Bernard is a great Zarya. And then Shai can just do whatever he wants on Soldier. We saw him go play more Soldier. He was playing the Ash a little bit, but he is fully locked in on the legs. Um, when Gushui comes in, he they've had less, less success, but he has shown that he is a clutch, able to clutch up, like against the Philly Fusion when they, uh, in map 5, he came in cold, and he played great. Uh, so when the monkey comp is needed, uh, maybe he didn't have a great few maps, he, his map record, not ideal, but he has, he's still elite, he still has the potential to, uh, to take over a lobby, to be honest, with his primals. Uh, very skilled player. So just because they they prefer the Zarya comp, don't count them out when they play Winston. Uh, moving over to Philly, they have Fury, Belosria, Belosria, however you want to say it, uh, Zest, Fixa, MN3, Carpe, and Aim God. Everyone's getting playtime. Uh, Philly's playing both the Zarya comp and the Winston comp. I'd like to say they look better on the Winston comp, in my opinion. But both of them uh, available to play. Uh, the main thing with Philly is they look great, they look dominant, and then they, they lose 
to Seoul very, very harshly. They lose to Chengdu, giving them their only win other than the charge, which is not great. And you have to question the consistency of this team now. Uh, they put up a huge fight against Spark. They, they could have won that match. No doubt they could have won that match. Uh, very close, but some troll moments. And the main thing they need to fix, in my opinion, is fix a beat engaging so often. It, it, they get consistently kited back, and then the enemy team will consistently come out and bring their DPS salts in, and they'd be like, well, maybe a beat would be good here, but you don't have it, so you lose the fight. Um, Carpe, not playing as well as MN3, in my opinion, so I'd like to see Carpe maybe get a little less playtime, but it's hard to say anything. He's Carpe, right? It's, uh, it's hard to say bad things about him, but I think MN3 is played a little better. Uh... One another thing to look out for this roster is you have a lot of rookies, right? You have Boss Rhea, Zest, MN3, and Fixa, all rookies, right? So uh, there's a possibility of 80% of your roster being uh, in and being rookies. So will how will they react in the higher pressure situations that they haven't seen uh, in Owl? And I don't know, that would be something to watch out for. Uh, looking over the Spark again, last season. They don't make it to Hawaii at all. They only qualify for the June Jazz one time. Um, they come 13th in the regular season, and they don't even make it to the playoffs, really. They come in third in the play-ins. Uh, so a pretty, a pretty mid-season for them, uh, turning it around so far, and we'll see if they continue to uh, impress. Moving around to Philly. Really unfortunate season for them. Uh, they only they don't make it to Hawaii either. They only qualify for two of the uh, tournaments, and uh, they come ninth in the regular season. So both teams off of pretty disappointing uh, seasons, I would say. They do make the playoffs, but they don't go far. Uh, they go seven. They they come like last, basically as last as you can in those playoffs. So. Obviously not the season they were expecting last year. They were plagued by uh, visa problems and stuff like that. This season, none of that. And they're going to look to uh, maybe rebound. And they're looking to rebound both in terms of winning this tournament and going to Hawaii. Or not, they don't go to Hawaii this time, but of uh, winning, placing well in this tournament, doing well in this tournament, and rebound from their turbulent week last week. Uh, so how do I think this matchup will go? I fully expect another 3-2. Uh, in either direction. This is a very hard uh, match to place. I'm a, I'm a Spark fan personally, but I can definitely see Philly winning this. I think I'm going to pred 3-2 Spark. Mostly because this team has more experience. They have more consistency. Uh... And they're just an easier pick to rely on. Philly, all rookies. No one's really come up this far. And could see some uh, could see some problems. The consistency, is it there? Will they have a bounce back week? Will they analyze what they need to do to beat Spark? I kind of think Philly looked better in the 3-2. Uh, I think they definitely... I, I personally think they had more opportunities to win it than Spark did. Uh, Spark only making it through some maps off of really bad either miscommunications or bad playmaking decisions from Philly. Uh, and I did like them more in their in the regular season match of last week, but uh, feeling confident in Spark to an extent. I don't know. I'm being a little wishy-washy, but uh, I'm not surprised if Philly win this match. Just basing on how close up the last one was, right? So definitely trying to pick the two of the less the lesser of the two evils between Soul and Philly, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Spark. Uh, for sure, can see Philly making it, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Spark. But uh, that's it for me. Uh, this is the first APEC preview. The other one will be a later tonight. 
And um, yeah, have a good one. Give it a like, give it a subscribe. Follow my Twitter account that I'm using for posting about Owl stuff now. And uh, yeah, deuces.